Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have a parcel today from paintsomeway.com and um, they asked me if I would like some products to show on my channel. I said, yes, of course. Uh, I have shown their products before. Yeah, I'll have a look and let's see what we got. So we have, oh, quite a large looking painting and a oh, bit smaller looking painting and oh 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 a couple of uh, oh i think we've got an extra as well okay that's everything out of the bag right so um there are quite a few special offers on at the moment if you go to paintsomeway.com um, there's 70 percent off the shipping fee for a limited time so obviously check out for your country or wherever you are uh, and there's clearance on cross stitch and you can get an extra 10% off. And I do believe if you buy two items, uh, you can save 15% off as well. So lots and lots of special offers on the site. So pop along there and have a look and see what they've got. Yay, we all like special offers. Okay, it looks like they've sent me an extra little um, kit here. Oh, this looks fun. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, we've got bits my desk get rid of those you don't want to be seeing all the dirty bits on my desk looks like i've got some needles i wonder if it's like a tool kit type uh, thing or a little making kit this is handy okay oh that's nice so i've got four needles which look like nice needles with their uh, gold ends there okay quite fine needles probably for your uh, needle point or for cross stitch oh there's an extra one in there as well so there's one two three four five all together we've got um i wonder if that's it's like a ring but i wonder if it's for stitching um it looks a bit like a thimble but without the top on you know so that you can use it so that'll be quite handy as well okay we've got a little pom-pom which i suppose we can stick our Thimble, uh, thimbles, our needles through. And then, is that like a needle threader? I think that's possibly something to do with stitching. I have to say, I've not seen one before, but maybe you can let me know what it is. But uh, yeah, thank you, paint some way for the extra. Oh, I've got some acetate on my desk there. I must have left that from something else as well. So yeah, that's very pretty and a nice little bag there. And oh, look at that. It's got um, a diamond on it. So I wonder if these are some new sort of bags for putting drills in. They're very pretty. Okay, so very nice. Thank you. We like little extras. Uh, this is, you know what I'm like. I always like going and looking, um, not just at the diamond paintings on uh, the sites that I look at. Uh, I do like to go and look at all the other bits as well. And uh, I went and had a look at the tools and pens for diamond painting and they had this one and I thought this was really good and really pretty and it goes round your neck look at that it's got a necklace to go around your neck so if you're always when you're diamond painting and you're changing your drills over putting your pen down and losing it you can put it round your neck now so you're not going to lose it yay <laughs> but I just thought that was really it's like a very dark pinky red colour and then we've got our gold like clasp at the end there. Look how ornate that is. All cut out all in the uh, gold there. Obviously, it's not real gold. Uh, gold coloured metal. And then we've got a nice pearl as the fastener finishing off on the end. But yeah, so it's just a single place. I mean, you can replace that with your uh, metal tips if you want to. But it's quite a smallish one. Again, um, I've said before, I work with uh, like a magnifying light and I have it quite close to my drills so I can look down on them. And I find sometimes the pens are a little bit long for me, you know, when I'm working on them and they hit the magnifying light. So I do tend to look out for smaller pens. But actually, that's quite nice to hold as well. That's quite a, a good one. And if you're going to hold it that way, uh, as I say, sometimes I do get pain in my thumb, uh, my fingers, so I do tend to, rather than holding it like a pen, I do put my fingers over the top and work that way as well. But yeah, you can put that over your neck and have it as a necklace. Oh yes, very handy. Uh, and that was $3.99. I 
Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Let me see if I can find my tape measure. Right, found it, found it. <laughs> so the actual pen itself, I'll go from like the uh, fancy bit at the end there to the tip of the pen uh, is, whoops, five and a quarter inches, which is about 13 and a half centimetres. And the length of the chain, which is a lovely and nice long length, is that's 39 centimetres so what that's 78 centimetres uh, in total uh, which is 15 and a half so it's 31 inches so yeah it's a good long chain just to put around your neck I mean you could even work with it around your neck although I think the chain would get on your nerves it would get on my nerves anyway but yeah you can put it around your neck so you don't lose it <laughs> Do you know, I've got an awful feeling that even though I would put it around my neck, I would probably still lose it. <laughs> but that's just me. Okay, so that's item number one. Very nice. We like that. Oh, it looks like we've got some. Didn't see those. They're a hidden look. Oh, look, we've got a full set of, well, a nearly a full set of little places as well. So we've got a nice straightener. That looks like it's about a 12 placer. That's a nine placer. A is that that's a six placer and a three placer so yeah we've got all your little the old style ones the old style fatter ones but yeah so that's really good so you get all your places with your pen and um, yeah nice little set again it's nice if you're looking for presents for somebody that does diamond painting and um, something that they've maybe not got just something a little bit different and useful as well excellent Okay, let's have a look at the next one. We'll have a look at the smaller one first. So I believe this is a special drill. Let me find out where the opening is. It is there, it is there. Okay, come along out, come out, come out. <laughs> Doesn't want to come out. Ah. Okay. Roll you out a little bit. I believe we're a 30 by 40, but we'll have a look. Oh, look at all those stars. Oh, stars. Sparkly, sparkly. Okay, we have your standard toolkit, pen, boat, and wax. Enough to get your kit done. And it is, look, it's three gnomes. So we are in gnome vember at the minute. I am taking part in uh, Mindy. Mindy's Diamond Moment and Angie the Craftnado's um, November paint along. So, yeah, I'll try and get this one done for that as well. I just thought it's um, a little bit different with it being a special drill. And we've got ho, ho, ho at the bottom in like holly and holly wreaths. I thought that was really, really good. And, yeah, we've got a little girl gnome on this one. Look with her plaits and uh, tall little men. Oh, he's got a fairy... Uh, fairy one look and he's got a wreath actually it looks like he's gonna throw that at somebody <laughs> and we've got your snowflakes in the background and the little pom-poms on the hat and uh, she's got her little antlers in look as well and she's got a present oh i think that's super uh it's partial it's a special drill and it's partial so none of the black background has got any drills on it which to me is great because Black isn't my favourite colour for doing drills. I can never tell which way up the drills are. Um, I don't have very good eyesight, so I tend to find that black drills are a little bit my nemesis. They are a little bit uh, hard for me to do. But uh, this one, with it being a partial, means I don't have that black background to do. I just have the gnomes and the letters to do. Oh, and the snowflakes as well which will be very very pretty so yeah i just fell in love with this one when i saw it and it's great for christmas ho 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 merry christmas we've got uh, nine different shapes and colors and gems and it has got the little key code at both sides we've got the little picture up there as well to tell us what it is how cute is that is that just not absolutely super oh he's got a longer beard than him look oh but he's got a massive uh like handle bar mustache and he hasn't got a mustache so they're all very different notes but very very good so let's have a look at these drills and see what we got i don't 
do like my sparkly drill. So let's start at number one. Oh, and we have two. Oh, look how sparkly and gorgeous they are. We've got two bags of your sparkly clear crystals. Lovely and clear. No dust or anything in those. I love seeing them like that. Just so sparkly. And your lovely Christmas red. So the gnomes are all going to be in lovely Christmas red and green. Great Christmas colours. Okay. And then we just have a little bit of standard black. Looks like that's going to be on their little shoes, the base of their shoes, which say sometimes you just need a little bit of a plain, just standard colour, just to make everything else stand out that little bit. And then, oh, we've got the little brownie amber colour, which is for the little girl's uh, antlers there. I was gonna say little girl's stags, but they're antlers, stags that have antlers. <laughs> And some lovely gold, and then some lounge, lounger, larger round. Oh dear, I'm running words in together today. This is not good to that. Uh, larger round half spheres, so they don't have any facets on. Looks like they're going to be on the H's, and uh, no facets on them, so they'll look like holly berries. And then we've got your white ones, which are again like a half sphere which are just like a flat pearl so there's no um, facets on those so where does number eight go oh, oh in the middle of the snowflakes oh that'll be pretty then okay and then look at all the little stars little silver sparkly stars and there look all on their hats on their clothes so they're all going to be little sparkly gnomes yay Oh, that's really pretty and it'll be one that will work up quite quickly. So if you're wanting to do it, you know, in between bigger projects, or uh, as I tend to like to do them, I like to achieve something. I like to feel as though I've actually uh, finished a painting sometimes and I find that specials are something that you can just sit and do pop those back in there and do on a night. So at the end of an evening, you can just sit and look at it and think, yeah, I've done that. And OK, there's not a huge amount of drills on it, but you have still sat and done it. had the pleasure of doing it and you've completed a picture. And I think that's really good. It'll look great on the wall at Christmas. It'll certainly make people smile. Yay! <laughs> and the price of that one is $5.99. So lovely painted. Oh, let's give it a quick measure. Uh, it says 30 by 40, but I think we'll find it's about a 25 by 35. And it is, yeah, 35, which is 13 and three quarter inches by... Oh, where does the end go on this? It must be just past the ho, ho, ho's. Yeah, we're about 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So. Oh, I, it, oh, it goes quite down there. Oh, that's quite... Uh, yeah, because the background's white. I'll have to be careful when I cut that one out because it's a very, very faint line going along there. And as I've already said, I haven't got brilliant eyesight. But I will get that one cut out and that one will be going on the wall this Christmas. Yay! November. Okay, so final one. Pop my drills over there as well. Is this one that is a little bit bigger. And is this one 40 by 40 then? I think it is. It certainly is a lot bigger than 30 by 30. Oh, it's 45 by 45, it says on it. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, Oops. Oh, this is going to be good. Uh, it's another special drill. What a surprise in a Liz unboxing. <laughs> Uh, we've got a pen butt and wax again. And ooh, lots of sparkly drills. Wow. Lots of big bags of the clears. Okay. And it is, I've put it the right way up. No, we've got it upside down, Liz. This one. Now then, I have actually got this one in a full drill in a 30 by 30. Oh, just get rid of that little speck there. But I thought it would look quite nice in a slightly larger size and in a special drill and I was right it does 
and it'll look even better once it's got all the drills on it. So because it's a bigger size, you can see the detail a little bit more. So we've got our, well, I don't know, is that a cardinal? Um, oh, yes, it is. I was thinking it looked more like a parrot, but no, it is definitely a cardinal there on uh, the top of the wreath. Oh, no, the snowman's holding him in his hand. So he's holding his hand out like that and he's got a cardinal sat on his hand yeah i was thinking that this was the beak coming down here but he has actually got a pointed beak going out there and then the little scene in his tummy there which is a house uh with looks like uh, a child with a dog and then uh, a man and a woman stood there looking at the house all dressed up for christmas that's nice and it's this big wreath with your big bow and your snowman and all your stars come in here Flatten it out a bit. So this one is 40 by four, uh, 45 by 45. So I'm thinking that the actual full size will be 40 by 40, which is quite good because I have got an empty 40 by 40 frame. So I will be able to get this one framed and put on the wall. Yay! Okay, just flatten this out a bit. There are quite a few creases in these because they've come a long way and they've been wrapped around the drills. But if they don't fully crease out, you can iron them. Um, my ironing video is coming. I'm just gathering a few together so I can do a few at once because if I'm going to actually do some ironing, I might as well make it worth my while and do a few. <laughs> is that just a little mucky mark there? Yeah, that'll just come off. Okay. So look at that, how pretty that is. And it will really stand out now with special drills. So I'm pleased I got this one because I love the picture. I love the snowman. Um, say, sadly, we don't have um, the cardinals, the red cardinals here in the UK. But that's all right. It just adds that little pop of red just to draw your eye into the centre of the picture and bring it round. Yeah. So this one has 10 different gems and colours. Very nice. Looks like we haven't got anything on the background wreath. It is just like the snowflakes that are on them. So let's have a look at these drills. See what we have got. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, right. So number one is a white, but it's an AB white. So it's got an Aurora Borealis coating on it which means it sparkles that a little bit more like an iridescent coating so as you move your drills around you get a different colour as you're looking at them very very pretty so that's good so it's going to be all special basically oh apart from the black sorry we have got black uh, just your standard black in here so again like the last one we've got two bags of exceptionally queer clear crystals i'm definitely not speaking well today actually i don't know i think they have too many actually <laughs> i have i nearly said it again then um a little bit of a gray tint to them so they're not fully just your standard uh white crystal i do believe they have a little bit of a gray tinge so it'll just give you a little bit different effect we've got a yellowy gold very pretty and that little standard black and then again we've got the half spheres in the pearls so they're going to be dotted around looks like uh, San Santa snowman's buttons there and around some of the snowflakes have those we've got some very tiny teardrops there in the plain silver oh and then we've got some teardrops in silver with an iridescent coating on. So you're getting purples and pinks and lemons and greens in those. And then are there teardrops? No, they're marquees in a blue. And they don't have any facets on. So that's going to be a different effect as well. Because obviously your facets give you different, as the light catches them, you get different effects. But when it's just sort of a rounded um, no facets on them gem then again you, you get a whole different effect again that's some large silver teardrops they're going to be the snowflakes and then we've got fire red uh, teardrops so they're like a reddy pinky colour with an iridescent coating which gives you that fire red effect so you get pink and purple and orange in them 
Wow, so where do they go then? That will be interesting. Number 10, so let's look for number 10s. Well, all I can see for number 10 is uh, the snowman's nose. So, wow, we've got a whole packet there, look, and just one needed. Heck, oh, we've got lots of spares, and I don't like spares. Yay! <laughs> Okay, but, wow, fantastic kits. Okay, so let's put these away. All right, I love on this one how the ribbons are all going to be lined in like the uh, goldy colour. So you'll have like these silver ribbons and then they've got a gold outline so they'll really stand out. But that is so pretty. I may be even tempted to just put some little gems in the middle of these snowflakes as well. Um, I've got some what they call magic glue or even using a sealer and just put a little blob in the middle of each of those snowflakes and then just literally put a gem there as well. So you can always add to your um, projects if you want to. And I was thinking about possibly cutting this one out and mounting it on foam board and actually having it as a wreath. But now I've seen it, I do quite like it on the bigger white background. And I think with it being um, the whites and the clears, it's going to look really nice on a white background. So I'll see when I've got it done as to how I'm going to either frame it or cut it out. But I think this one I will actually leave as is on the canvas rather than cutting around the shape. But yeah, you've always got lots of options with ones like this. Okay, so... We have had this gorgeous snowman wreath with all these lovely sparkly drills. We've had a lovely pen with lots of extras in there and uh, it's got a nice chain on it so you're not going to lose it. <laughs> oh, famous last words. And then we've had our little gnomes, our ho 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 gnomes. Yay! Love that as well. So lovely special drill projects. And then our little extras. I do like uh, little extras. So I think that is possibly to do with stitching and uh, needle threading and things like that. But uh, let me know. I'm not quite sure. That would have to be quite a big needle if you were putting thread on that one. But let me know if you know what uh, all of those are. Huge thank you to paintsomeway.com for sending me these. Um, I love them. I will be getting them done and they will be going on my walls for Christmas. Yay! Can't wait, can't wait. Uh, I do like Christmas. <laughs> oh yes, Christmas is one of my favourite times of year. Um, yeah, it's when I can be a real big kid and get all the decorations and things out and uh, yeah, see Habit Hubby saying, oh no, not something else that's going on the wall. <laughs> okay. Well, as I say, thank you, Paint Somewhere, and thank you for uh, coming along and watching. If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out Paint Somewhere's special offers. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.